go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Sean Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. Look, things got competitive between our two sides. It's what happens in WWE. I'm not going to apologize for that. Hmm. I kind of thought you would have learned some lessons while you were gone. You know, growth and stuff? But I guess that's not your thing. I got a lot going on. We'll catch up some other time. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now, 
that I'm back. What's really... Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade. But let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently. Forever, or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days why wait give me a championship match against my old buddy slade and we'll get this over with tonight no chance 58 days it's wwe champion slade slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring yeah determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former lock left wwe Slade may have taken a backseat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss Shawn Michaels just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is I'm actually going to gonna happen? Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. I might need to get my glasses checked to make sure this is actually happening. But Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael. The artist, formerly known as Lock, is back. He sure is, and he wants the entire WWE Universe to know that the only name he wants from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Right on the arm. And he's soundly taking control here. Yeah, he's found an effective form of attack. 
That is attacking with malicious intent. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. We can have a new champion here. One, two, three. What the heck? Shawn Michaels just pulled the referee out of the ring. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of talent development? Shawn wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's gonna try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck this stacked against time. him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> this is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? <laughs> It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three-on-one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking.
Sounds like you already have Hector's help if you want it, but that still leaves you a man short if you want to even up the sides. You have any suggestions? I know I said you needed to lean on other people, but I'm willing to reconsider. If you're willing to do me a favor. What are we talking here? I had a lot of regrets about how my WCW run ended. One of the biggest was I was supposed to face Goldberg during his legendary undefeated streak. I know I could have been the one to end it, but a match never happened after I quit. So help me get a match against Goldberg, and I'll join your faction. That's kind of weird. I mean, you just got beaten up by Slade and his crew. Shouldn't you want revenge without all this Goldberg stuff? If I'm going to put my body on the line for you, I need this win against Goldberg. Besides, it'll be a massive confidence boost for me to get that monkey off my back. Goldberg is a very large, scary monkey to try to get off your back. It's no guarantee you'll beat him. I've dreamt about it for 25 years, and in my dreams, I beat him every time. And this will be no different. Just make the match happen, okay? I think Goldberg's been training at the PC lately. I'll talk to some people there and see what I can do. Oi, clock's ticking. You gonna get me to match with Goldberg or what? I know I don't have much time, but I have some other things to take care of before I look into your Goldberg request. Are you dim? What could you possibly have to do right now that is more important? Give me Goldberg so we can move on with this. Oi, clock's ticking. You gonna get me to match with Goldberg or what? I think Goldberg's been training at the PC lately. I'll talk to some people there and see what I can do. Finally!
I told you I could do it. The Goldberg monkey is officially off my back. Ha! It was 25 years late, and in a training match with no cameras rolling or an audience to see it, but still, <laughs> what a feeling! <laughs> I'm happy for you. So, I guess that means you're on board to join my faction now. Oh, hell no. I was never gonna actually join. I'm ancient and just spent everything I could to pull a fast one on Goldberg. <laughs> now, I mainly wanted that match for my ego. And, of course, to show you how you can leverage favors to recruit superstars to join your fight. Like I said before, you can do much better than me. Seriously? I just jumped through so many hoops to make this happen. Well, I hope you're ready to jump through some more. Because that's how this is going to work. And it's not like you've been the most friendly, outgoing type in your time here. So, it might be a bit of an uphill battle. People like me? Debatable. Anyway, I have a feeling the more restless you get to join your faction, it'll attract even higher profile superstars and legends to help your cause. <sighs> Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. And finally, whenever you've got two wrestlers you think make up the best faction to take down Slade and his group, come find me and let me know. Got all that? Yeah, I think so. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna go celebrate my big win. But you should probably get to recruiting. Time's running out.
Well, I never thought I'd say this, but the former Locke has teamed up with his WWE nemesis, Sami Zayn, to take on Alpha Academy here on Raw. The new return superstar is clearly doing whatever it takes to get back to the incredible heights he experienced in his WWE debut, ironically enough, against Sami. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Saxton, and do you hear that? It's the sound of Shawn Michaels' 58-day clock ticking down by the second. Oh, and I rake. That's not right, but effective. And did you hear the impact of that? And Gable's hopes are waning in this one. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Gable's confidence? And that might be the start of the momentum swing Chad needed. Gable tipping the scales a bit here. Bam! Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Smart attacking the arm. He's getting a little better now. Ah, oh, what a counter. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Going into a monkey flip. Can he say? Take down. He's turning the tables. Snap there. Sami Zayn starting to struggle. Dangerous. 
dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 back no. Back suplex, a back suplex right onto the apron. Now, where in the lesson plan did Otis learn to act like this? And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. And he's in. that from him at this point. I'll save you the big song and dance. I know you're looking for people to fight your battles, and obviously, I'm your top choice. But if you want my help, you're gonna have to do something for me first. Some of that was accurate, but what'd you have in mind? Corey Graves has been running around this past year saying how his show with Carmella is so much better than my show with Maurice, and I'm sick of it. I mean, their show isn't even on TV. Anyway. I would never lower myself to attack an announcer, but maybe someone else would, if you get my drift. With the situation I'm in, nothing is beneath me. Good. Corey trains at the PC on his off days. Head down there and shut him up.